Hello everyone, how are you? This is a video for mass transit which is ha has happened yesterday on 5th of December. Uh, mass has entered in its own sign Scorpio. And it's going to stay there around mid of January. I know I have to finish Jupiter series, Jupiter transit series, which I'll finish today and tomorrow. But this was very exciting because Mars is entering its own sign. And uh, there are two parts of it. Uh, so I'm going to just deal with Mars in Scorpio. But then also I'll make the second video today, which will be more about Gemini. Because Gemini is very much affected because of this new transit. So I, uh, wherever Gemini is in your chart, I'll explain that in the other video. But let's get started. Because even when I started shuffling, the justice card came out. So it's all about karmic justice for most of you. And which is bringing back lot of happiness, lot of security, lot of... And this has to happen almost every time the camera goes haywire. And... Lot of security, lot of uh, happiness which is bringing to a place where you are opening up to the society again. It looks like that Scorpio is the 8th house in the natural zodiac, right? 8th house happen, brings a uh, lot of karmic things and it brings it very suddenly. And suddenly there is something within the spirit till 15th of January, you'll see that suddenly there would be something triggering for karmic justice for you and also will bring more security, more happiness. And suddenly you'll see that because of this, you are more open to the society, but then your past experiences were like not so great. So you were like, should I open to this? Uh, format should I open uh, to this new possibility or should I just leave it I don't know what is happening uh, and then there is the lover's card and then the lover's card says that you have a choice whether you need to go ahead in that direction or whether you should move back whether you should uh, move forward or move backward I, uh, or you should just chop uh, definitely moving back is not the best thing, but then uh, you have a choice whether you need to integrate with this uh, environment or you need to move on to the next environment. But then the environment where you are right now, the Hierophant shows that it's very much accepting of you and it's very much uh, giving you all the balance that is required everything that was taken away from you would be given back to you and that is something that is good it 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 sounds very practical but there is a lot of fear that this is another trap but i don't know whether it's another trap or not but i definitely know that it is very practical for you to find that balance and take everything that is being offered to you as an compensation for all the losses that the environment has created for you and if you notice that except for 10 of pentacles everything is a major arcana card here so the life is going to change very drastically for most of you uh, the future that is being shown to you right now by the environment is too good to be true that's what i'm seeing here with seven of cups with the devil and that's why you are not feeling confident that it is this sounds too good to be true this is like i don't trust based on my past experience and this came in reverse because while i was shuffling it just uh, turned around after jumping out it <laughs> turned around so it looks like past is not to be considered anymore the past is over six of cups in reverse is like don't focus on your past focus on your present and then uh, 
focus on your present if you want to move out of this environment go out and communicate with people and that is fine but communicate with people in a balanced way uh, don't uh, say bad things about your past don't tell them about how people mistreated you because it happens to everyone see it in a constructive way because the person with whom you are trying to communicate in uh, your future and your for future positions it looks like that it is more of uh, a kind of thing which is more balanced and they 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 want to see a constructive approach because they know that such bad things happen to everyone based on their circumstances and if you can come out of that bad phase in a more constructive way rather than holding on all that uh, poison from the past they don't want to cater to that poison they want to cater to the constructive aspect if you can convert or transmute that poison into some kind of a healthy medicine and then communicate with them they are all yours otherwise they are little distracted and they would move away from you they would very quickly help you to find find what let's see which card jumps out this is sticking out find your boundaries what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and where do you need to go ahead from here they would very quickly do that and that will help you to actually find a greater place for yourself in life in the cosmic connection and you would enjoy your life you would move forward although there would be a lot of possibilities the page of swords here is showing that uh, you might feel that you still have to explore a lot of thing but you will pick up one thing at a time and move forward very passionately towards success so that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video if you want to have a personal reading with me visit my website astrolog.com until next time bye bye and namaste